What's up, FRT community? We've got a question coming to us from Ashanth Bala, and she wants to know what is meant by total cycle time and how do we calculate it? Okay, so here we go. We're talking total cycle time, also known as TCT, right? This is what we're talking about. Now, what is total cycle time? Total cycle time is the time that it takes to give a breath or or for all of inspiration to happen plus all of exhalation before the next inspiratory period begins. That's total cycle time. Now, typically you're talking total total cycle time, you're talking mechanical ventilation. So, you have a patient on a mechanical ventilator, you have a set respiratory rate set. Okay, so you have a set respiratory rate. What's the total cycle time? Well, that tells you from the time the breath starts, there's going to be an inspiratory phase and there's going to be an expiratory phase before the next inspiratory phase begins. Now, remember, if inspiration is active, exhalation is passive. And so you have I time plus all of E time equals total cycle time. Now, when you ask me how, do, so let me give you a graphical illustration, okay? So we got a vent here, we're in volume control, breath comes up, exhalation, breath comes up. From here to here equals total cycle time. Okay, so that's what we mean when we say all of inspiratory time, which is from here to here, this is I time, and then E time is from here to here. These two areas together create our total cycle time. Now, your question was, what is it? Which I think I just explained. The other question was, is how do we calculate it? Well, there's several ways you can calculate, I don't know about several, but there's a couple of different ways you can calculate total cycle time. The easiest way is this right here, okay? So if you're in assist control with a set respiratory rate of 10, then that means there's gonna be 10 breaths happening every minute. So we simply say 60 seconds divided by 10 equals six seconds. This equals our total cycle time. Okay? So total cycle time is going to be here 10 seconds. I mean, 6 seconds on a rate of 10. Okay? That means the vent, either the vent or the patient, however you want to look at it, there's 6 seconds for the breath to be delivered and then fully exhaled before the next breath is coming. So you got a breath coming every 6 seconds. Okay, that's total cycle time. Now, if we change our rate to, I don't know, let's say 20, then we do 60 divided by 20, and we get 3 seconds. Now, what this shows you is that respiratory rate plays a role in total cycle time. Total cycle time plays a role in your patient's ability or the time that they have to get the breath in and all the way out. So if your total cycle time is not sufficient, then your patient may air trap before the start of the next breath. That's where you go with this. That's kind of why it's important and why you understand it. Okay. So, so that, yeah, that's total cycle time. That's one way to calculate it. Now, if you're given a respiratory rate, then you just divide it into 60, and that's your total cycle time. But if I tell you you're in pressure control, so let's say you're in PC with an I time of one second, okay, and an I to E of one to two. Well, this tells you that your expiratory phase is twice as long as your inspiratory phase. So your I time equals one second. Your expiratory phase is twice as long as your inspiratory phase. So your E time must be two seconds. Now, if we know I time 
plus E time equals total cycle time, then we know we have a three second total cycle time. And in this case, we know we have a rate of 20 that is set, okay? So there's some different ways that, that you can get to understanding total cycle time. There's different ways you can calculate it depending on, on how in depth your, your, you know, your, your professor wants to take you down this path of understanding total cycle time and how you can get it. Essentially, what it all comes down to is you have to be able to figure out either divide your rate into your, time, into your 60 seconds or figure out what your I time is and what your E time is, add those together, that's your total cycle time. There you go, Ishant. Five minutes and 50 seconds, under six minutes, total cycle time. I appreciate everybody watching. Please like, comment, hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it, and I hope everybody's having a great day.